Le CEA was created by the General de Gaulle in 1945. It was first established in Fontenay-aux-Roses to host Zoe, the first French nuclear reactor. In the 50s, several teams moved to a science palace, also called Little Versailles. Designed like an American campus by Auguste Perret on the Saclay Plateau. In 1958, the CEA created the SHFG. Dedicated to biomedical imaging in Orsay Hospital. And 50 years later, it gave birth to Neurospin and Mircea. Research centers dedicated to neuroscience and brain exploration. Ready to see the brain at work? Let's start with Mircea. You focus on neurodegenerative diseases, right? Yes, and we use MRI and PET histology and microscopy to explore neurons and their neighbors. Like gliosomes? Exactly. They are essential in brain function and major actors in brain diseases like Alzheimer. Can you study pathological proteins and evaluate therapies? Of course! Biologists and computer scientists work hand in hand to study misfolded proteins. They also work to image gene transfer in the brain through 3D reconstruction. Did you succeed in designing therapies? Yes, our research enabled the first gene therapy in Parkinson's disease. And guess what? The patients at PET scan imaging at SHFG. Great, would be nice to explore SHFG now. Come on then! Do you know that this pioneer imaging center is still at the forefront of new developments in PET? Of course, I know that PET requires the production of radioisotopes to label molecules so that we can image many aspects of brain metabolism and function. Indeed, a new platform was created called CAOR to develop innovative PET imaging molecules. Can you tell us a recent example? Sure! We identified novel biological targets of neuroinflammation to follow the progression of neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson. So I guess you can see what happens to drugs in the human brain. We recently determined the interaction dynamics of an opioid drug with its brain receptors. Would be great to discover other imaging modalities. Okay then, let's go to Neurospin and see cutting-edge MRI. At Neurospin, engineers and researchers are developing the machines with the highest possible magnetic fields to increase image quality and possibilities to investigate the brain at work. I guess such a try fit brain images generate big data. Yes, that's why we develop AI methods to process and analyze them. Oh, looks like diving into the brain. Sure! With our clinical 11.7 Tesla of the Isolt project, we will go deeper into the brain structures like the hippocampus, which is crucial for memory and Alzheimer's disease. What about the research in cognition and psychiatric disorders? We are working with adult volunteers and with babies. We also study patients with psychotic symptoms. Through tractographies obtained by diffusion MRI, we can see impaired structural connectivity in the brain. Thanks a lot and see you soon at Fans Forum 2022!